The exchange offered are always looking at new ways to engage with customers and what the hologram um, technology does is take it to the next step and beyond. It's a way in which we can actually measure the engagement at a higher level. We've been using the 3D holographic displays for, for about three months now as part of a free car parking campaign for our customers. We were using typically posters but felt that it needed an injection of visibility uh, and thought that the 3D displays were, were a perfect way of doing that. Uh, we've used it successfully to encourage new customers um, but also to encourage our existing customers to visit regularly. Certainly the 3D holographic activity really helps us promote this effectively. My experience with people at the bar is when they come up and they see the flash and they're straight away their reaction is, wow, what, how's that work? I think products definitely had an impact on our sales, promoting our lower selling products and getting the word out about them. I was looking at the bar earlier and I saw Emma Watson just pop up in front of me and then next thing I knew they were like advertising for like Stella, Red Bull, it was really cool. So you looked at and I was like, whoa. And it like stands out from everything else. You don't look at the other advertisement when it's there. What's going on everyone, this is Dom and we're hanging out at the Panasonic booth during CES 2017 and we are checking out this amazing autonomous cabin concept and then you can expect to see this somewhere in 2025. I'm here with Roberto and we're gonna talk a little bit about all this tech here. So there's some pretty cool stuff happening actually right in front of me right now. Everybody in my family can have their own 4K tablet right here. <laughs> and we can do our own thing in peace while the car takes us wherever it's going to go and it's pretty amazing. So this is what we call the magic ring. So what the magic ring is a configurable. We can move it around and we can change the color of the display in the back on the door panel as you see here. This is incredible. Yeah, it's fantastic, though. Yes. This is incredible. Wow, okay. <laughs> now, what other cool features do we have going on here? There's oh, so much so, to take in. Yeah, for example, Dom, you have our own wood material on the back of the wood. It's so thin that you can put any kind of light, any kind of design, different uh, animation screens. Uh, so all is customizable thanks to our uh, Panasonic proprietary material. Okay? That is incredible. And then, for example, Dom, put here on top. And then, oh wow! Oh. <laughs> so it's telling me <laughs> how warm or cold this cup is. It's telling me uh, the amount of calories here, and it just detects that as I place it down. So I mean, this is this is what we can expect. Like yes. like we're saying, sometime around 2025 is is what the as aim soon is. as yes, as soon as the as soon autonomous as driving, as soon as possible, because all this technology is more or less available from Panasonic point of view. So. So I mean, this is all real stuff happening in yes. this concept. It's just executing it is yes. is what's going to take some time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Roberto, for showing me this amazing You're welcome, concept. Dom. You're welcome. I cannot believe that this is what driving is going to be like in the future, or well, at least the experience. You're going to enjoy, Dom. You're yeah. going to enjoy. <laughs> it's all about enjoying your experience while being driven instead of driving, and all of that is possible with this autonomous cabin concept here at the Panasonic booth. you had to use 1940s technology for today's tasks? Sure, let me send you that email real quick. Wait, how do I copy and paste on this thing? Technology has disrupted every major industry, including parking. However, parking enforcement remains in the dark ages. We all know existing enforcement methods can be cumbersome and inefficient, requiring a labor-intensive process that takes up a lot of time, a lot of storage space, and a lot of other resources. And sometimes, a booted vehicle does need to be towed, and the agent must return to the vehicle to remove the boot so the tow truck can take the car away. That's twice the personnel cost, twice the fuel cost, and wildly inefficient. Let's change the way parking is enforced. Introducing the Barnacle. It was designed to make the whole process more efficient and convenient for everyone involved. The Barnacle attaches to the windshield using commercial grade suction cups that provide hundreds of pounds of force. It blocks the driver's view, offers a high profile display to explain the violation, and deters other people from committing parking violations. And if the driver attempts to move the vehicle, an alarm sounds. 
Its unique design allows it to be stackable for easy transport and storage, towable when deployed, lightweight and easy to maneuver, deployable from the safety of the curb with no need to kneel in the slush or snow. And it comes equipped with a motorist releasable feature. After paying over the phone, the motorist can quickly and easily remove the device and be on their way. They will have 24 hours to drop the device off at a predetermined location nearby. These features save money for the agency, provide a safer work environment for enforcement personnel, and make the process less stressful for everyone. And let's face it, couldn't we all have a little less stress in our lives? With everyone's budget under scrutiny these days, the Barnacle just makes sense. It's faster, greener, safer, and a whole lot cooler. The Barnacle. Let's change the way parking is enforced. Hi, we're the D House Company. My name is Dave and this is Dan. We are an experimental design and architecture practice and for the past two years we've been pouring our lives into creating products based on a mathematical formula. We've been enthused and excited by the response we've had, not only from our friends and family, but also from newspapers, blogs and magazines. The reception the ideas received has made us even more determined to realise our goal. It all started in 1903 when an English mathematician, Henry Ernest Dudney, discovered how to turn a perfect square into an equilateral triangle. When you apply this concept to the fields of architecture, furniture and lighting, the possibilities are endless. Now we're ready to take D-House to the next level and get our products into shops. The first product that we will be releasing is a D-table. Firstly, the square is dissected into four segments, which are then hinged and rotated from perfect square to perfect triangle. However, the table doesn't have to be the centerpiece of a room, with eight fixed positions and infinite possibilities in between. We see this table as an investment piece that challenges the throwaway culture of today. D-Table can adapt to your ever-changing lifestyle. For example, it can be a wall unit, or if you're having a party, you can fold it into the corner of a room. A lot of people have awkward corners in their homes, and D-Table can fold around them. For even greater functionality, you can remove the hinges, and the table can be separated into four pieces which can be used as separate individual side tables. We are now going to jump scales and apply the formula to architecture with our ultimate goal to realise the world's first dynamic house that can respond dynamically to its environment. In the summertime, the house opens up to allow light and air to penetrate the inside of the building and offer full panoramic views of the surroundings. It literally unfolds itself. The internal walls become external walls. Doors become windows and windows become doors. A house like this has never been done before and we believe that creating buildings that can adapt and change is a much more sustainable way of thinking. Our initial goal is to get D-Table to market and get the product into shops. And with your help, we can do this. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you can see why we believe in this and really hope that you can help us make this happen. All the info is on our Kickstarter page. Thank you. Thank you.